systems. One, information is bits plus context. All information in a computer is represented as binary, bits, zeros, and ones. The meaning of these bits depends on their context, e.g. whether they are interpreted as text, images, or instructions. Two, programs are translated by other programs. High-level programs, e.g. in C, Python, are converted into machine-level instructions through compilers, assemblers, and linkers to be understood by the hardware. Three, understanding compilation systems. Knowing how compilation works helps you optimize code and debug efficiently. Four, processors read and interpret instructions in memory. The processor fetches instructions from memory, decodes them, and executes them to perform tasks. Five, caches matter. A cache is a small, fast memory that stores frequently accessed data to improve system performance. Efficient cache use speeds up programs. Six, storage devices form a hierarchy. Storage is organized into a hierarchy based on speed and cost. Registers, fastest, caches, main memory, and storage drives, HDD, SSD. Seven, operating system manages hardware. The OS abstracts hardware details and provides services, e.g. file systems, memory management, process scheduling. Eight, systems communicate via networks. Computers use networks, e.g. the internet, to exchange data using protocols such as TCP, IP. Representing and manipulating information. One, information storage. Data is stored as bits and arranged in bytes, words, and blocks. Two, integer representations. Numbers are represented in binary using formats like unsigned twos complement for signed integers. Three, integer arithmetic. Operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division follow binary arithmetic rules, including handling overflow. Four, floating point. Floating point numbers are used to represent real numbers using standards like IEEE 754, which have components like sine, exponent, and mantissa. Machine level representation of programs. One, a historical perspective. Early computers used assembly language. Modern machines use architectures like x86-64 with machine instructions for performing tasks. Two, program encodings. Programs are encoded as binary machine code with instructions and data stored in memory. Three, data formats. Data is stored in specific formats, such as integers, floating point, or characters. Accessing information. Processors use registers and memory to access and manipulate data. Five, arithmetic and logical operations. Machine instructions support arithmetic, e.g. eight sub and logical, e.g. and, or, XOR operations. Six, control. Programs use control flow, e.g. loops, conditionals, implemented through branch instructions. Seven procedures, functions, and subroutines are supported with mechanisms like the call stack and instruction pointers. Eight, array allocation and access. Arrays are stored as contiguous memory and indexing accesses specific elements. Nine, heterogeneous data structures. Structures like structs and unions in C store different types of data in memory. 10, pointers. Pointers store memory addresses, allowing direct memory manipulation and dynamic memory allocation. 11. Life in the real world, debugging and security. Tools like GB help debug code, identify bugs like out-of-bounds memory references, and prevent vulnerabilities like buffer overflows. 12. x86-64 architecture. The x86-64 architecture extends the older IA32, adding 64-bit registers and instructions for better performance. 13 floating point programs. Floating point operations are also supported at the machine level with specific instructions for arithmetic and comparisons. Processor architecture. One, the Y86 instruction set architecture. Y86 is a simplified version of x86 used for educational purposes to understand processors. Two, logic design and hardware control language, HCL. Logic design involves circuits for processing data, and HCL is used to describe processor control logic. Three, sequential Y86 implementations. A sequential processor executes one instruction at a time, step by step. Four, principles of pipelining. Pipelining improves performance by overlapping instruction execution, dividing it into stages, fetch, decode, execute, etc.